Hello fellow gunners, Tim here at the reloading bench. I'm going to do some more loading with the uh, shotgun powder, play dot, in the 9mm. And I'm going to be using my new bullet. The uh, now These are casting out at 130 grains. All the point, the uh, NOE all the point mode. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, three grains of clay dot. And I'm going to go to 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, and 3.8. Uh, 0.2 grain intervals. Give me uh, five five shot groups. And see how our groups come out. Now I'll be using the uh, high point 995 for for the test gun. That's a carbine. Uh, I don't have a corner graph yet. I'm working on that. We will get one. And uh, so we're right now we're just testing accuracy. We'll see how uh, how they shoots and functionality of the powder, and see where our pressure points are coming in. All right, I've uh, thrown a charge already. Three grains. And as far as I remember, my seating die is still set for this. From the uh, 2028 powder. I guess I need to scoot you back over here so you can see me do this. I don't know if that's necessary rotating my cartridge as I seat that bullet, but I found out to me it, it just works a little bit better. Sometimes this powder, this powder, it's a little consistent, but it'll throw high or low from time to time, so... Now it's throwing high. Huh. There we go. I'm still using the uh, W O A O W. Scale. I'm really liking that little scale. It just works well. I just don't think I'm going to use anything else but that scale. I don't know why, but here in the past month or so, the handle on my press won't stay up. Wonder if that's a sign my press is wore out. <laughs> Time to break down by a new press. Here I am having to buy new equipment and I'm wanting to buy guns. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm uh, using Mixed Brass, and I'm using uh, S&B Primers. Right there's what the loaded cartridge looks like. It looks like it's kind of washed out, but you'll see a little bit of a ring around there where the seating die is kind of digging into the, uh, the uh, powder coat. I don't know how to get past that. It's going to happen. I've come to terms with it. Now, I am putting a little bit of a cramp on there. I know a lot of guys are saying, you know, oh, don't cramp as you set your bullet and 
I've done this for years, guys. It's just something I've, I've done. I don't have an issue with it. It's not like I put an extreme crimp on there. And this is not a roll crimp. This is a tapered crimp. So, as you can see, I'm not having any issues with smashing my nose or totally ripping off the powder coat. Or no issues, guys. It's all good. All right. Well, that was it for the uh, point three. I loaded five there. And now I'll be loading, like I said at the first, 0.2 grain intervals. Yeah, so the next one will be 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, and 3.8. And then uh, I'm going to load these. I'll catch you at the range unless something happens. But I'll catch you at the range. Hey, guys, Tim, I'm at the range. I'm going to... Uh, I'll be shooting some more of the um, NOE 130 grain hollow point in 9 millimeter in the good old high point. I say high point, I meant hollow point. This is a high point. 995. All right, we're going to be shooting clay dot. And we're going to start out with three grains. We're going to go 0 0.2 grain intervals up to, uh, let's see, what would that be? Three, 3.2, 3.4, 3 3.6, 3.8. There we go. Right up to 3.8. There we go, guys. All right. Boy, that was soft. Can't believe that even worked. That was pretty soft, but got a pretty good group going. All right, guys, there we go with 3.2. Still pretty soft. All right, guys, here we go with 3.4. Did not like that group at all. Better make sure my scope's still tight. All right. Didn't like that group at all. All right, guys. There we go with 3.6. I rushed that, but man, these groups just are really horrible. Horrible. All right, guys. I'm. I hope they get better on this one, cause 
Them last two groups was just horrible. All right, here we go, 3.8. Nope, not good. All right, let's look and see if there's any pressure sign on this brass. I doubt it. It don't feel like very hot at all. Well, it's warm in the hand. <laughs> oh, boy, there is a little bit of pressure sign. That's something we'll look at at the bench. Wow. Okay, but it's not not like the uh, 2028. I don't know. We'll look at it closer at the bench, and then we'll just judge it from there. And we'll look at the target, too, when I get back to the bench, which I'm not too impressed with the last of those. All right, hey, guys. Back from the range. Well, we done some testing with some clay dot in the 130 grain NOE uh, hollow point. All right, there's my first group. Three grains clay dot. About an inch, uh, what, 11 sixteenths. No, <laughs> a little bit bigger than that. A little over three quarters, ain't it? Yeah. Anyway, an inch point eight eight five, and then uh, the second group was two inches, well, less than a quarter. That was three point two grains, lay dot. And after that, it opened up. Now, what I think's going on is, you can see that the slower the bullets are going, the uh, better the groups are. I think what the deal is, is this bullet alloy is softer than what I'm used to. Now, these bullets are uh, sized to a .3565. And uh, I'm going to change that. I'm going to start using the uh, .3575 in the 9mm. As you can see, with the uh, 3. Point, uh, was it 6? No, 4 grains. 3.4 grains. It just blew up. Uh, don't know why. But then... It went back down, but still, that, that I've had a lot better luck with uh, my Lyman bullet, and I know this bullet will do it. I just know it will. This is uh, 3.6 grains, a little over 3 inches, and then with the uh, 3.8 grains, I'm back up to almost uh, three and a half inches. So, I have to work on that. Now, I know my rest wasn't the best. Uh, <laughs> you know, I can come with, up with excuses all day long, but yeah, it wasn't the best. And I'll have to try to improve that. Uh, the deal was I took two sandbags and was planning on using the wood blocks like in the revolver video. <laughs> I forgot to pick the blocks up. So I had to work with two sandbags. Oh, let's 
Let's look at the uh, 3.8 brass. Now some of this is showing a little bit of pressure. You can see that. It's not too bad. Now you know all high points can handle plus P plus and uh, on a high point that's no big deal. Now, some of your uh, older guns maybe uh, not rated for a plus P plus or even a plus P I wouldn't use that. So we stick with about three and a half grains of the clay dot. All right, guys. That's what I've got to say about that. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.